An emotional apology from a high-ranking Toronto police officer and a high-profile disciplinary hearing. The auditorium here at Toronto Police Headquarters was packed today as Superintendent Stacey Clark took the stand and made a tearful testimony. Superintendent Stacy Clark was greeted by a room of supporters at her penalty hearing Wednesday. She testified that she regrets her actions and is sincerely sorry when she took the stand. This isn't who I was raised to be, she said. I'm deeply, deeply sorry to be here today. I wish I had not chosen that path. She became the first black female superintendent in Toronto police history in 2020, but her illustrious career came to a sudden halt in 2021 after she admitted to helping half a dozen racialized officers cheat during a promotional process, texting confidential interview questions to candidates she was mentoring. I was overwhelmed with desperation, she said on the stand. I'm deeply remorseful for just entering down this particular path. It's going to be difficult for people to understand what took place, why it took place, and I'm hoping that I'm able to tell the why. Last fall, she pled guilty to seven counts of professional misconduct. Clark has always been forthright about her goals to help others rise through the ranks and her focus on gender and racial diversity. I still want to see progressive change, she said today. Supporters gathered at police headquarters argue Clark was only trying to address equity problems in the force and help more racialized cops reach senior positions. It did not benefit her in any way. We want to make sure that the punishment is proportionate to the crime. Instead of demoting her, they should uh, give her a reward for all the work that she has done. It is the, the severity of the discipline that's unjust. And it's just because she's a black woman. They argue the promotions process was clearly biased, with only 1.7% of black candidates who had gone up for a promotion actually succeeding. They lack transparency. Uh, they often uh, benefited uh, white men within the service. Clark said this incident will not stop her from making change. I plan on going as high as I can as an officer. Make no mistake about that, she said. This incident won't stop me. This tribunal will determine her punishment, which could range from demotion to dismissal. She made no comment as she left today and she will be back for cross-examination tomorrow morning. For City News, I'm Tina Asdani.